Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day two. Last night I had to do the unthinkable and craft cornmeal so we can make this cornbread. I made five pieces, which means I had to use five pieces of corn to make five pieces of cornmeal. And then the cornmeal plus one bottle of water gets us a piece of cornbread. I made five. Uh, and I'm going to eat all of it right now like the fucking glutton I am because we are starving. I had to get something in my belly this morning. Otherwise, we might not have made this journey that we're about to take to the trader. Got some things to sell, so uh, we'll see how this goes. What up, pig? You still here? I'm going to name you Pumbaa then. You ever see Lion King? No? Of course you haven't. You're a fucking pig. This is what my life is now. Talking to a fucking pig. That's what happens when you don't throw away cornmeal. You literally go insane. Take those feathers. I'm not going to destroy the nest, though, for extra feathers. In this series, we respect our animal friends. Plus, you know, animals are stupid, so they need our help to survive. Good night. Man, punching uses a lot of stamina. I need to get some points into sexual Tyrannosaurus soon. Looks like we got Trader Joel right here. He is not open yet, so let's do a little looting while we wait. Grab the cement real quick. And it looks like this is the way to get into this POI, through the rooftop. Not gonna do that, though. We'll just break in through the front door. Maybe we can grab the main stash here before Trader Joel even opens. Uh, scrap both of these things and take the lockpicks. Let's check the mailbox, because I always forget to. Paper. Grab this pile of guts right here. I was only able to craft one farm plot last night, so, uh... Need to mine some nitrate powder tail. Let's go in through the window. Oh yeah, also last night I gave myself a level one mining helmet with a helmet light mod. I talked about this in the last episode um, that I was going to do that because it just helps you guys as the viewer. Because watch, when we go inside this place, it gets dark pretty quickly with no light mod. And it's not dark enough to where I can't handle myself, but it is dark enough to make it uh, shitty for you guys. Like watch, look at that. Now, that's not dark enough to affect my game at all, but it's definitely dark enough to affect you guys as viewers, so I think I made the right decision there. Steroid and painkiller, more steroids, and even more steroids. Man, fuck Farmer Glock. Got to be Schwarzenegger Glock. Let's check this plug, and then we'll read those two books we just picked up. All right, I'll take that, and let's see what we got here. Fireman's Almanac. 10% greater hyperthermal resistance. I like that. That's my favorite fireman's book to find. Let's read that. And we got the structural brace mod. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Zombie. Man, these leather knuckle wraps suck ass. Die, you prick. There we go. I'm going to continue using them just for the sake of uh, my own suffering, I guess. I mean, once we get uh, another point or two into Brawler and get ourselves some Iron Knuckles, then things will get better. Here in the beginning, though, it's painful. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. What up, there? Shit. No. Nah. Damn it, should've went out the window. This door does not close, it's locked open. Oh, you fucking man warrior. Close the door. Shit, this is not good. You better go down here. All right. Jeez. That's how I expect my encounter to go with real thick when I finally meet him in real life. First thing I'm gonna do is punch him in the face. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. I love thick, I love the whole Neebs crew. As a matter of fact, they are planning a couple of events, one in North Carolina and one in Vegas, so I hope I can at least make it to one of those. All right, we're having some fun this morning. The trader is obviously open right now, but uh, I want to raid this kitchen first, see if we can find some food, and then we're going to grab the main stash here, and then we'll go see Joel. Whoops. Oh, the plug was up here. Whatever. Hey, peas, I can eat those. Let's eat them now, as a matter of fact, and I'll take this coffee as well. More coffee. Empty can. 
see what we got in the fridge. Meat. No use to us. Actually, wait, someone said I should be selling meat. Ooh, first aid bandage schematic. That's good, and I'll take that challenge. Let me see, what does this sell for? Not much. But I'll tell you what, since we are headed right over to the trader, we'll go ahead and see if Joel wants to buy my meat. Tuna, can't eat that either, but we can sell it. it sells for just as much as the meat does. Hey, cornmeal, I'll take it. Who even am I anymore? I don't know. I'm losing myself. Where the fuck is the main stash? Man, get my ass kicked. Well, let's keep it going. Not gonna give up now. Yeah, bitch. Hey, 69 hit points. Can't be mad at that. Ooh, hunting rifle schematic. Definitely plan on using a hunting rifle here in the Farmer series. Let's put on that uh, bandana. At least until we can get a cigar. Pistol Pete. 20% uh, more range when using a scope or iron sights with a 9mm. That's nice. Another challenge. Let's uh, read both of these. Uh, kill some nurse zombies. Okay. Kill a screamer zombie. You got it. Oh, looks like we're going into the attic. I guess that's where the main stash is. Oh, shit. We got some runners. Oh, damn. I didn't even see all those bombs. There's one more, and there's one more runner. Let's see if we can set it off. Ah, uh, come on, crawler. There we go. Runner is not dead, though. Come on. Oh, shit. Fuck that. Close the door. All right, um... Oh, wait. Look at this. Grab this chair. Bring it down. Put it right here. Perfect. No, he's down, but he's not dead. Now he's dead. I'm not too worried about this nurse. Oh, she dead too. We can't pick up the chair because it took damage. Oh, thanks, little buddy. That's the second time you've helped me out today. Damn. Tough little fucker. All right, give me this arrow back. Let's get up in the attic, grab this stash, and get the hell out of here. This was supposed to be like a quick little stupid raid. Ah, not bad. I guess we'll sell these leather wraps. I'm gonna put on the padded leg armor and the padded boots. We'll scrap these plant fiber boots in that chair. Let's see what we got in here. Plastic parts. Ammo and a shotgun modifier. Ooh, antibiotic and some grain alcohol. We got a desk safe right here. We got plenty of lock picks, so... Should be able to crack into this sucker. If not, then we're out of here. I'm not gonna beat into this fucking thing with a stone axe, that's for sure. Look at this. Oh, beginner's luck. First try. Not bad. Some ammo and cash, which we will sell to Joel right now, because that's where we are going. Can of stock, two of them. But it's not very clear, though. It just says soup stock, so I'm going to assume it's chicken stock and not eat it. Same with the chili. It just says can of chili, but come on. You make chili with no meat? Seriously? What kind of boring-ass fucking life do you lead that you would make chili with no meat? Oh, oil shell. That's good. Nothing in there. Oh, we got a forge. 79 nails. Oh, you know what? Let's use those to craft uh, storage. That's not how you spell it. Storage uh, boxes here. Let's do six. Yeah, six a nice even number. I like even numbers. We'll scrap the rest of them. That's good. Now we can set up some nice storage boxes back at home. What up, Joel? Oh, let me uh, search your bookshelf first. Oh, baseball bat schematic and the wrench schematic. I thought you didn't need a schematic to craft a baseball bat, though. What's up with that? Actually, what's up with you? You just walking in place? You getting your exercise in this morning? I feel you. Be seeing you. All right, later, man. 
Well, he didn't have any food we can eat. He did have some ammo, but I'm just gonna save our coin for now. Look how close his town is to our town, though. That's good. Let's go ahead and mark him on the map. I'll save the waypoint. Just call it Traitor. And uh, let's just head back to our town. We're already a little encumbered. Plus, we haven't really explored our town much. No sense in starting to explore Joel's town. Not until at least we get our hands on a bicycle or some shit. Take the feathers, leave the egg for Mama Bird. We can't be snatching eggs out of nests. What kind of monster would do some shit like that? Hey, what up, Pumba? Daddy's home. Let's drop some shit off here and then we'll head back out, see if we can find something to eat before I end up having to make more cornbread. Oh, did I miss this piece of corn right here? Or is it possible for dead corn to turn into edible corn? I don't think that's possible. I must have just missed it. Let's grab some more water. It's still uh, hanging out here under the water tower, so that's good. Why can't I pick it up? Pick it up. There we go. Oh, hey, chicken. How's it going? You don't got to run for me. I'm not going to kill you. I am going to kill you, though, bitch. Well, there's a skill point. Let's just go ahead and not even think about it. Let's just put it right into living off the land level two. That's going to allow us to craft seeds from berries and vegetables. And it's going to make farm plots cost 50% less to craft, which is great. We'll get more of those crafted tonight and we'll get our farm started. All right, that's enough of that. Mining with this stone axe is terrible. Let's go check out that cabin, then maybe we'll raid this blue house here. And we'll check out the mailbox now, though. Robotics book and some paper. Nothing in the trash. Oh, we got a trailer park right there. Those are fun to raid. Charged strike. Uh, this has to do with the stun baton. I'll read it, but I don't plan on using a stun baton in this series. More paper. Grab these chairs. You can scrap them for the iron. And uh, let's do this thing. Oh, I got her right in the missing eye. You see that shit? Right into the empty eye socket. That's some Robin Hood aim right there. I'll scrap the die for the paint. I was doing that in the first episode, so might as well keep doing it. We'll see if we can get our hands on a paintbrush, and we'll paint up the barn. Why the hell not? We're doing everything else we don't normally do in this series. Why stop with painting? Well, this must be a different cabin than the one I was thinking of, because I don't remember there being, like, an underground lair. Here we go, waking zombies up. Man, having a rough time with these leather knuckle wraps. Hey, fuck off, dude. Whoops. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. Slamming a hatch in a zombie's face is even funner than slamming a door in their face. Big boy stuck on something. I think it's the other zombie's body. Whatever. Taking advantage of it. I end up using all my arrows on this big bastard. Better than trying to punch him with the knuckle wraps. That'll take the rest of the day. We'll be punching him. Alright, finally. It's a fucking chore just to kill a few zombies. Now you see how powerful clubs and sledgehammers are.
This must be the shed that was around back. Yep. Let's get out of here before we get cornered. There's definitely a zombie around. Somewhere. Nothing in the gas barrel. You can scrap hay bales, right? Oh, never mind. Yep, you can scrap them for plant fiber, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I don't have any use for them. I know you can use them to uh, soften your fall. You used to be able to fall from, like, the top of the world. And if you landed on just one hay bale, you wouldn't take any damage, but they finally fixed that. Now you take damage, just not as much, obviously. Let's make some duct tape with this glue, and then when we get back home, we're going to make some storage pocket mods so our inventory's a bit bigger. More food we can't eat. These sham sandwiches, I'm going to take them because you can use them to eventually craft antibiotics. Now, someone told me that you can take a vitamin and then you can eat the sham sandwiches and you'll be fine. But it's sham, which is this game's version of spam. So it's meat. We can't eat it. Now we got to make some more cornbread. We got no choice. We're going to starve. I was able to make one clothing pocket mod, so we'll get that on our pants. If we can make another one, we can put it on our shirt. Let's see here. Eat this cornbread. And we'll wait for a few more pieces to be done, get that in our belly. And then maybe we'll venture out for a little bit longer, because we have no other food. We do have a paintbrush, though. I forgot we picked one up in the first episode. We can do some painting later. Distract us from our hunger pains. All right, that's enough. Let's go while we still have some daylight. Ah, oh, Pumbaa, you have no idea how bad I want to murder you right now and eat you. Oh, cotton seed, I guess I'll take it, but cotton is definitely the last thing I would plant in our farm. We don't really need to do that at all, but I guess if we got to the point where we were sustaining life and our farm got big enough, then we could think about planting cotton, but right now, not even a thought. I mean, look around. Look at all this cotton we can just grab right here. Let's check the short bus. This is the bus I used to ride to school. Now, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do that school another day. Let's go raid the Shamway Foods. That's what we really need. And look, more corn. Very nice. Should we just break in here? Nah, that's iron. Let's go in through the popping pills. Actually, let's uh, go grab this corn first. There's not much of it, but... I'll take it. Look at this. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Hey, that's twelve more pieces of cornbread. That'll hold us over for a bit. Boom, bitch. Waking up all the zombies now. I don't even care. I had to bring the blunderbuss with me. It's getting tired of uh, leather wraps and arrows. Oh, can he drop the loot bag? There's a zombie coming in. We just got to watch our back. Let's open this up. Stone spear. Useless to me. All right, let's see if this shit was even worth it. Check the register. Coin. Ah, oh, that's no good. Beef ration. I'll take it. We'll sell it. Golden rod tea. That's not going to help with our hunger. Gunpowder. I guess I can try eating that. Hey, more peas. Great. <laughs> I don't want to complain. With so little food in my belly, I'm not going to complain about finding peas again. Kind of bullshit, though. Hey, honey, as much as I'd like to hold on to that for a mild infection, I am eating it now. Painkiller. We could just be walking around looking for uh, tree stumps to chop down to try and get some honey from. Oh, you know what? There is a book, and I forget what uh, 
I forget what series the book is even in, but there is a book out there that allows us to harvest honey. Ooh, what do we got here? Can of pasta. Well, it's just pasta and tomato sauce, so I'm eating it. All right? There's no meat in there. If there was meat, it would say gravy because that's what gravy is. It's pasta sauce with meat added to it. But like I was saying, there's a book out there that gives you the chance of finding honey with every tree you cut down. It doesn't have to just be a tree stump. So we need to find that book. Got a zombie trying to break in here. We'll just let him keep working at that brick wall. When he breaks in, We'll beat the shit out of him. I'm just gonna do this little area down here, these two bathrooms, and then we'll uh, probably head home at that point. There's Stalker. Gain 5% more XP from kills at night. That's nice. We might have to do a night raid soon. Once we toughen up a bit more. Nothing. Ammo pile, though. Nice. With the helmet mod, that's good for the snow biome. If we ever find the snow biome in this series. Come on out of there. All right, let's start heading home. See if we can find some tree stumps along the way. Look, here's another pig. It's like the game is taunting me. What up, Pumba? You chillin'? That fucking pig. He's probably gonna outlast us. Bam, bam, there we go. First two farm plots. Let's bring these seeds down. It's only right that our first crops are corn, right? Look at that. We're officially a farmer. Got a lot more work to do, though, if we want to survive. There we go, let's get this water cooking. And we got this clothing pocket mod, I made a second one. Put it on our shirt. Oh, actually, um, let's put it on the sweatshirt. And wear that instead of the plant fiber shirt. Seems like a better idea. Alright. So that's going to be it for this episode then, you guys. Um, got some loot to go through and get organized. Since I got some food in my belly, I'll probably continue working on the floor inside of here. I need to figure out how I want the layout of this barn to be. So I'll think about that tonight. And we'll pick things up in the morning of day three. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.